What we're going to look at now is how to use the georeference function within Trimble Perspective. So I've got a scan here that I've just um, project here that is all registered. I've just completed scan six and it's still in its same position. So once the scan's complete, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record a precision point on each of my targets that I have coordinates for to use from a georeference. So if I go over to the right here, I select what would usually be the annotations tool. Hit create new. It takes me into a station view from scan position six. You'll notice here in a point type, it would usually be set to annotation. If we set that to precision point. What we've also got here is the laser pointer option. So we can now turn that on and the scanner will rotate now and it will now face the direction that I have this target. And when I move the target around, the scanner will move at the same time. What I'm seeing now is I'm seeing a laser pointer focusing on this black and white centre, this black and white target. So if I zoom in further, then when I tap the target, I'll get these little arrows here that allow me just to fine tune it. And I can just confirm using the laser pointer that I'm actually measuring the centre of the target. So I'm going to name this here, which is target T24. Now it's a lot easier if you name the targets, the name is the control point. Um, and that way it will use an automatic match, it will just match T24 and my control values to T24 as measured. If not, you can match them up yourself. Don't need a description here. I'm going to use this point for geo-referencing and I've got a target height here of zero. I'm just going to press scan point. The X7 will do a quick calibration of itself and then it will scan and measure the point. T20, target point T24. Once complete, the scanner will beep and go green again. You'll see there's a little blue circle around the point, and we now have distance to it. So, all we're going to do is we're going to hit create point, and it creates this little precision point on T24. So, all I'm going to do now is move around the room. pick off the other points. Fine tune it in. And I can use the laser pointer just to confirm that I'm aiming at the centre of the target. Point T22. And scan point. Again, once that's complete, I'm just going to create the point. Now I'm going to go and select the other point. So once I've completed that, you'll see here on the right that I have my three stations, T22, 23 and 24. I can go and I can delete them out here, I can view some of the details. If I go back into my full view, I can see my targets here as positioned. So if I go up to the three bars here, I'm now going to go and I'm going to go to Georeference Project. It's going to pop up here and it's just informing me that I don't have any control points in the project. What I can do is I can go and create and I can type those ones in. Or if I have a CSV file, I can select the import function, select my CSV file. When I open that, it just gives me a, a, a little configuration box here so I can set uh, the type of file I'm bringing in. But I've, I can see here I have coordinates for 22, 23 and 24. Just one thing to note that in Perspective Software it runs in Norvings and Eastings. If I select Import, and these points uh, automatically match um, my precision points, it will automatically do the, the geo-referencing. Computed match, so it's done it automatically, everything's matched up, and you can see that the point cloud has now been rotated into position. If you look on the left here, it gives you an over, a report on the error, overall error 3 mil. If I click on each of these, 
individual points, we get a little drop down here just to tell us the individual errors. There's a box here that allows it to automatically register if it hasn't done so. But what you can do here is you can select a control point and select your own precision point and match them up automatically yourself. Or if for instance we don't like this one T22, we can select the control point of 22, it's automatically matched it, what we can do is unmatch it. And by doing this, it's removed T22 from our geo-referencing. We want to put it back in, T22 to 22, and match again. You'll notice here when it's a geo-reference point that it goes green, and you'll see there's a little globe next to it. If we're happy with that, all we need to do is hit apply, and close. Once complete, we can now go through the process again, finalise and export, colorizing any additional point clouds and exporting the project.